تھوڑا تو آگے تشریف لائے سلوات پڑھیے سارے
that this organization has organized these majalis so that we can learn from the lives of Ali Muhammad. And we can only learn that when we come and sit on the farsh of Imam Hussain We see that there are many modern people now. They turn around and say that with the advance of technology, we can listen to the Majlis live. You might know certain people that turn around and say that you was listening to the Majlis in front of the Maulana or Zakir, but we were listening to the Majlis from the comfort of our own homes. Those people do not understand what is the fazilet of sitting at the farsh of Imam Hussain Because this might look like a center in needs, but in reality we are sitting in a part of judgment. You know we have embassies and counselors throughout the world. What is so special about these embassies? If you enter the embassy of Pakistan or you enter the embassy of India, the people there will say that now you are no longer in your country, but this embassy, the four walls that you are in, you are now actually in Pakistan or you are in India. These small embassies, even though you are here in the UK, they represent a country for whom they are representing here in the UK. The Majlis of Imam Hussain is such an embassy that no matter where you are in the world, when you come under the banner of Abba Abdullah Hussain, you are under the arch of Allah Azza wa that is only achieved in the majlis of Imam Hussain. This is that zikr, the remembrance of Imam Hussain, that you get the sawab of remembering Allah. This is only that zikr, that in the remembrance of Imam Hussain, you are remembering the final messenger of Allah. And this is the only zikr that through the remembrance of Imam Hussain, you are remembering the 12 Imams. Because every single Nabi, from Adam to the final messenger of Allah, all remember Abba Abdullah Hussain. Every single Basi, Imam after Rasulullah, until the arrival of Imam Mahdi, every single Imam spends every single day remembering Imam Hussain alayhi salatu was Then who are you and me to move away from the zikr of Abba Abdullah Hussain? And the hadith which I have recited many times, but what a beautiful hadith this is, and it reminds us of the azmat of Imam Hussain alayhi salatu wasalam, and the narration is direct from the final messenger of Allah azbajal in which the Holy Prophet says man za'ar al-Hussain ka man za'arani wa man za'arani ka man za'ar Allah he who goes for the pilgrimage of Imam Hussain has done the ziyarat of and he who goes to the ziyarat of Imam Hussain has done my ziyarat also. This is how important it is the ziyarat of Abba Abdullah Hussain. How important is the zikr of Imam Hussain. And we need to pass this on to our children. All of these efforts of this Idara Ansar al Hussein, every single member, the organizers, every single effort is so that we can guide our youngsters, our youth, because they need to understand who Hussein is. 
Because till today, people are confused who is Hussein. The message of Karbala is now reaching more homes, more places than before. But what is the difference in now as remembering Imam Hussein and the remembrance of Abba Abdullah Hussein a hundred years ago? Now we have technology and technology is a part of our daily life. You know we have seen that when Imam Bargad were built over 50, 100 years ago, people said that these Imam Barga are very big. Will a time come that these Imam Barga will fail? And now we see that it is not that the Imam Barga has become small, but the Ta'adaz in the followers of Imam Hussein have increased. There are more Husseinis now than there were a hundred years ago. Why? Because Banu Umayya spent a lot of money to move people away from Imam and Hussein. A lot of money was spent. Those people that like to read history and see what has happened in history will understand that after Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Many people were appointed to move people away from Ali Muhammad. And we see this within three days after the passing of Rasulullah. Those people that claim that we were in Ghadir, three days after Rasulullah, they refused to believe in Man Mawla. People say that we say Mawla, Mawla, Mawla. This is not something that we have made. But it is someone who ordered someone, who then appointed someone, because Allah Azza knew that there will be certain people who will refuse to believe in the Bilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib. That's why Allah Azza has put a special bell on the door of Jannah. In our lives, when we go to someone's house, what do we do? We either knock the door or we ring the bell. That bell or that knock then tells the people that there is someone at the door and they come and open the door. Allah Azza knew that not every person will come to love Amir al muminin Ali ibn Abi Talib. That's why we have a narration that on the door of Jannah, Allah has put a bell. And the job of that bell is that whenever someone enters paradise, this bell says, Ya Ali, Ya Ali, Ya Ali. Those people in this dunya who move away when they hear the name of Ali ibn Abi Talib, what will they do when the door of Jannah says, Ya Ali, Ya Ali, Ya Ali? First of all, I don't think they will be anywhere near that they will hear the bell. But those people that still have a misunderstanding of who Ali Muhammad is, we the Shia of Ali have not chosen to believe in Ali because of our own decision representing the Shia community and sitting on this member of Abba Abdullah Hussein, I want to give a message and I want my youngsters to deliver this message to their friends. We, the Shia of Ali, do not believe in Ali because it is our decision. We believe in Ali because it is the order of Allah Azza Yani, if you want your Iman to be complete, then you need to have the Vilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib. Islam is incomplete without the Vilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib.
Talib. Deen is incomplete without the vilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib. Islam is incomplete. Deen is incomplete. Then how can you think that your life is complete without the vilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib? How can you think that your life is complete without the vilayat of Ali ibn Abi Alhamdulillah, since the first day of Muharram, today is the third, but I can see that Alhamdulillah, Mu'maneen, Mu'maneen are increasing. This is not the kamal of this idara. This is a living miracle of the remembrance of Abba Abdullah. It is a miracle of the name of Hussein ibn Ali. It is that name that purifies the heart. It is that name that purifies the mind. It is that name that purifies the soul. But before we get to that state of purification, we need to understand how is it that we can learn from Ali Muhammad And where I left off yesterday, we were discussing in yani knowledge is that wealth that if we acquire this knowledge, this wealth, then we can change ourselves. The name of Imam Hussein والسلام, is a revolution. You know, we have seen many revolutions have started. And after so many years, they have finished. So this is a living miracle of Imam Hussein. That 1400 years ago, Imam Hussein started a revolution which is still alive today. And what is that revolution? It is to tell the difference between right and wrong. To remind people what is hard and what is batil. And that can all be understood through studying the lives of Ali Muhammad wasalam. The Holy Prophet of Islam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Holy Prophet says in a famous narration, and every single child has heard this hadith. The Holy Prophet says that even if you have to travel to China, then try to learn knowledge. You know, China. Nowadays, when we mention China, especially the youth, China. The purpose of this hadith is that in those days China was very far. And still now you can see that most of the technologies that we have, they have been developed by the Chinese. Yani, one thing that we can understand is that the Chinese have knowledge, but not every single knowledge is beneficial for every single person. Do we doubt that the shaitan did not have knowledge? The shaitan had a lot of knowledge. And shaitan had so much knowledge that at one point, shaitan was the teacher of the angels. But what is the reason why he got booted out of paradise? The only thing is the arrogance. When you acquire a knowledge, if you want that knowledge to work for you, if you want to attain barakat from that knowledge, then you have to be humble. Today is the day of Friday, and this day is associated with Imam al Mahdi, Ajjalallahu Faraj al Sharif. From your Allah, Allah, <coughs> and what a better opportunity do we have than the zikr of Abba Abdullah Hussein that we can use this opportunity to get close with our 12th Imam. We see that there are many problems in society, especially our youngsters and our youth, they say that we are facing troubles. There are troubles in every family, there are troubles in every single society. Friends are now becoming enemies, 
Father and sons are moving away. Fathers and daughters are moving away. Daughters and sons are moving away from their parents. Why is it that we are seeing these troubles in our society, especially as the Shia of Amin al -Muhani? It is because we are moving away from our 12th Imam. The more you move away from Noor, the more you will go towards darkness. Because Allah has sent Ali Muhammad as Noor. What is their job? They take you out of darkness and towards the light of Allah Azzawajal. But if a person wants to spend his life in darkness, yani you see there is so much light in here. If someone turns off the switch, is there a problem with the lighting or a problem with that person? Because if he has switched off the switch, then he will not have access to that light. Ali Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam have brought noor into this world. And if we want to access that noor, then we need to move towards Ali Muhammad. And when we will move towards them, they will help us and take us out of darkness and towards the light of Allah. We need to make the effort. We need to be the first to move towards them. Because Allah sent them. The Holy Prophet says, Allah has created me and the Noor of Ali together. Yani both brothers, the Prophet of Islam and Amin al muminin and Noor for humanity. But we need to move towards them. Make the intention that today, on this day of Friday, the 3rd of Muharram, you will, through the zikr of Abba Abdullah al move towards your Imam. In the final hadith before we move on to Masaib and Ma'rafat of Imam al Zamana, how can we move back towards Imam al Zamana? Before we understand how we can move towards Imam Mahdi, we need to understand why is it that we are moving away from Imam Mahdi. And inshallah tomorrow we will cover how we can move towards Ali Muhammad. Now the first thing, the reason why people are confused and they are moving away from Imam Mahdi is because they are busy in gathering wealth. They are busy in gathering wealth. Now is all wealth equal? Ask these children. What is wealth for them? I think nowadays less children will say that wealth for us is gold, silver, money. But for them, they have a certain wealth which is love, which is sweets, which is certain games on their iPhones and Samsungs. For them, that is their wealth. Look, for children, that is their wealth. If you move on to those who are teenagers, for them, sweets and chocolates don't have any meaning. For them, slowly, slowly, the purpose of wealth, or what they call wealth, changes. For them, pound becomes wealth. And the older you get, the wealth changes. For our bazook, our elders, for them wealth is relationship. Wealth is to be with your family. Wealth is to be with your children. That is wealth for them. But the reason why we are moving away from Imam Mahdi, whether you are a child or a teenager or an elder, every single person is busy in acquiring wealth. And because we are busy, in doing something else, even though if you are after risk halal, that is ibadah, but we are now in those terminologies acquiring wealth that we want to be better than the next person. If our friend, our brother has a Mercedes, we will try our best to make sure that we have a BMW. 
Now I don't know which is better, Mercedes or BMW. Mercedes. So I'm giving you an example to understand how people are acquiring wealth. The thing is that you are spending your time in acquiring that wealth which will be left in this room. No person has taken a Mercedes and BMW with them. No person has taken the latest phone with them when they go to the parade. The only wealth, according to Ali Muhammad, that will help you in the grave is your Ahmad. That is what you need to acquire. And the second thing which is moving us away from Imam Mahdi is the Qadr. Who am I? Me, 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 every single person, even a child. You know, they are automatically now programmed. I have the latest game. I am better than you. I have so many followers on TikTok. I am better than you. I have so many likes on Facebook. I am better than you. The taqabur that we used to hear about is changed now with the new generation. You know, to, as they say, to brag about something, to say that I have so and so thing and you don't, that is taqabur. Arrogance, you know, everything will be left behind. You know, when you go into the grave, the angels are not going to say, Bismillah, you had the latest iPhone. <laughs> the angels are not going to say, Bismillah, you had many followers on Fortnite. <laughs> no. When you go into the grave, your amal will speak. So the first thing is gathering wealth. The second is having to cover. And the third and final thing is, which is in every single household, is the breaking of relations. Every single household is faced with the same problem. I receive many phone calls. People say, Maulana, what shall we do? My son is not listening. Maulana, I am not speaking to my sister. I am not speaking to my father. Every single thing that Ali Muhammad has taught us is to improve ourselves. And all of these actions are moving us away from Ali. Only if people understood who Ali Muhammad was, then after Rasulullah, the daughter of Rasulullah would have come to cry. I was asked yesterday by a brother that Maulana today is the third of Muharram and you have not recited the Musibah of Sayyidah Fatima Muzaha. The daughter of Rasulullah, that Zahra, is the first defender of the Vilayat of Ali ibn Abi You know, we think that it is easy for us to come and sit in the Majlis of Abba Abdullah Hussain. Look, we all know the sacrifice that Imam Hussain gave, but the first person to defend this deen of Allah Azzawajal, the first person to defend the honor of Rasulullah, the first person to defend the vilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib is no other than the daughter of Rasulullah Fatima Zahra. <laughs> when the name of Fatima Zahra comes to mind, I find it very hard to read the Messiah of Sayyida Fatima Zahra because even the angels read salawat many thousand times before they recite the name of Fatima Zahra. But the time came upon Fatima Zahra that she entered the Darbar. Every single person was saying, That is Zahra, that is Zahra, that is Zahra. And Zahra is standing in between the so called Muslims and saying, Oh, people, don't you remember? I am the daughter of.
Together three times with the loudness of your voices, the loud salawat. Oh. 